What's up everybody? My name is Spec and I'm here with another video. Guess what? I have great news for you. Now this is how we always started, right? Lockdown happens and when lockdown happens, I'm looking at things that I can do, you know, and then I decide, let me do a song for my kids. I made for them a channel. I hadn't uploaded content up to this time, but then lockdown happened and I'm like, what do we do in this period, you know? These kids are running up and down, they are restless, they want to go to school and uh, I have nothing to do, I'm just sitting around like every day watching TV, news and all that because you can't go anywhere. So I'm like, we're gonna do a song. I mean, I've been doing music for a long time. If you check out my channel, this channel, The Spec TV, you can see the number of songs I've done. You know, it's it's been happening on and on, on and on. So I said, we're gonna have to do a song. I wrote the song and it was an effort, like to be part of the support for coronavirus, effort like to help people remember the messages of washing your hands and uh, being clean and all that. So we made the song. Wash your hands, it's the simplest way to protect yourself Wash your hands, stand on top of infections the song comes out very good, we do the audio, we do the video, we put it on YouTube and then we were like, so what next? We've done the song, it's good, we love it, how about we share it with the world? I drop an email to the BBC, I'm like, hey guys, we have a good song here and uh, the kids made a song, Sean and Shallow have made a song, blah blah blah. The song can be a good addition to the efforts to fight the virus, reminding people what they need to do, blah blah. I never thought so much about the song until I got an email from BBC Coventry and and Warwick Shell, that's the radio station. They sent me an email, they said, you know what? We love the song, it's amazing, and we would like to make an interview. They called me, they said, you are the person who is responsible, you sent the song, so we want to know, we want to know a little bit about you, okay? Your boy goes to the phone, I'm like, fine, let's do this. This is how the whole thing went down, right? BBC CWR, it is lockdown upload, and that was brand new material from Coventry's Sean and Shiloh, aged 10 and 8, and of course, an adult who had a hand in it. Uh, let's speak to Spec now. Hi, Spec, how are you doing? Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you doing? I am perfect. I'm perfect right now. Uh, Sean and Shiloh have stolen my heart with their incredible enthusiasm and performance skill uh, is this the first time that you've made music with the kids yeah, actually this is the very first song we have done well it's amazing they're complete naturals but it's not the first time for you tell me a little bit about your music so far spec when i was young i did music i did a couple of songs but when you don't think it's going to be that big somehow you you chill out a bit mm -hmm. but then when i got into the life of uh, uh, the mother of my kids you know, my sense of music kind of came back. I mean, I looked at these beautiful kids, I look at what they can do, I look at how confident they are. I'm like, hmm, maybe I can pass on something, you know? <laughs> Was it their idea to put the song together? We did a couple of uh, YouTube videos, and then I used to hear them singing, you know, because their mother can sing. And uh, I could hear them sing, so I knew that their voices can do something. So... I just, I just sat down and I said, well, let me write something and I see if you guys can do it. Probably we can give it to the world as a gift, you know? And that's how we started. Well, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. They're absolute natural. So thank you so much for sharing that with me. And it is the catchiest song I've ever heard. It's in my, ever wow. since I first heard it, it's in my head the whole time. Are there any plans for another song with Sean and Shiloh and yourself, Spec? Absolutely. I've actually finished uh, composing another song and uh, they are practicing right now. So very soon we are going to do uh, the next song. Oh, brilliant. OK, excellent. Well, you know, while they're still off school, you've got to get in there and before they go back. While they're, while they're, the time. While they're st this is the time. We ought to be using this lockdown time productively and creatively. Thank you so much for your yeah. time, Spec. Thank you for bringing that lovely song into our lives. And I look forward to hearing more from you on Lockdown Upload in the future on BBC CWR. Oh, thank you so much, Rachel.
Now, after all that, I thought, well, this is over. This is done. We've done it. We were excited. We were happy. The kids were excited. We celebrated well our first song. Uh, it's been on radio. Big deal. Then the producer drops me an email after that. He said, you know what? There's a project going on. There's a song that has been written. The song is for all the different people that have done something in this uh, period. People in Coventry, the care workers, the support workers, the nurses, the doctors, people that have prayed, people that have uh, brought in money to help others, people that have helped in any way. It's time to celebrate them. They said uh, it's a BBC, it's called BBC Make a Difference. We need to sing over this. We need to do some dances over it because they're going to be included in the final project. Your boy starts to do the vocals. I, I prepare myself, I record, and then I send the clips. I'm like, well, it feels good. That's exactly what I did. If you look right there, that's what I did. I never knew what to expect, actually. I just sent it. Then, June 29, they send me another message. And this is how it reads. Listen. Thank you so much for contributing to the BBC CWR's Lockdown Anthem. That is BBC Coventry Warwickshire. We are delighted to let you know that your submission to the upload has been included. I'm writing to let you know that the Lockdown Anthem, a tribute to Coventry's lockdown story, will premiere on Phil Upton's breakfast show on Friday 3rd July. We will release a short teaser on Tuesday 30th June at 8.40 a.m. But the full version will be available on Friday 3rd July after 8 a.m. on BBC CWR Radio. We have included an image in case you'd like to tweet or mention on Facebook to your friends and family to watch out for the video. And then they send me, you know, the words, you can use words like la da 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 da. The original track, together we will write, pays tribute to Coventry's heroic effort over the past three months and kicks off the station's virtual festival, Cove Fest, on what would have been the weekend of the city's iconic annual Godiva Festival. Now listen to this, Listen, this is very, very important. The track looks back using song and images at the amazing stories of resilience through this strange time and the local people who have made a difference, including me. Ha <laughs> ha! The anthem was composed by Coventry songwriter Gareth Withers with local individuals and groups uploading their own performances and images to contribute to the finished anthem. Gareth Withers, amazing, I've looked at his profile, I've checked his website, Gareth Withers, legend. He's an amazing gentleman. He's been uh, making music for a long time. He's been composing songs for schools, training kids to, to sing. Oh my goodness, he's an amazing, amazing gentleman. Stratford upon Avon's Orchestra of the Swan helped create the beautiful orchestral score by recording their performances to the piece in isolation. Together We Will Rise is a fitting tribute to the city's finest. And it's only right, it's only right that they get to be the headline act to launch Cove Fest. This is what the editor said. It's a fitting tribute to this city's finest. And it's only right they get to be the headline, headline act, headline act. We drink to that, drink to that. <clears throat> the festival opens on Friday, 3rd July with Trish Adudu and music from the darkness, Coldplay, then Dev Marshall Barry with his own reggae and soul to Friday evening with Cove two-tone band selector, The Beat and UB40. Who played the BBC's biggest weekend in Coventry in 2018? Putting me in the same construction with UB40. You don't understand, man. In the same construction with Coldplay. You... <coughs> the legendary UB40. Hmm? This is big. This is huge. I'm excited to be a part of this project. I'm excited. I can't wait to see the video. Can't wait to see what everybody put together. Thank you, Gareth, with us. Uh, thank you, BBC Coventry. Thank you, Rachel New. Thank you, Sioban Harrison. Thank you, Gareth Roberts, the editor. Now, listen, I've got more songs on this channel, so don't leave the channel without subscribing. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the content and share it with your friends. I love you all. Make sure you watch out for this lockdown anthem. Together, we will rise on BBC CWR. Peace out. Meanwhile, clap, clap to the brave and bold face. Ah, yes, all of the people in the NHS, yes, 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 the key workers in the UK. Yes, 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 you keep us alive, you're so flipping amazing. Clap, clap to the brave and bold face. Yes.